All right, straight ahead, we get to a middleweight matchup between Luke Rockhold and Nick Diaz. All right, so here he is, the former Strikeforce welterweight champion, Nick Diaz. Stars don't burn much brighter than this, DC. Good to see Nick back on the proven ground tonight. It's great to see Nick back in the octagon, a guy that every time he makes the walk, you know you are going to get a great fight. He's going to start going at you the moment the referee says fight, He's gonna be talking. He'll be trying to slap you. He'll be hitting you with the jab. And if you make the mistake of just taking him down, Nick Diaz has a great jiu-jitsu game, unbelievable submission ability, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt with black belt boxing. Yep. That's Nick Diaz. Lifetime in the sport made his UFC debut all the way back at UFC 44 against Jeremy Jackson in 2003. All right, here he is for my money. Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Rockhold is 35, Diaz is 37. Rockhold is three inches taller. He will have a one inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 11 losses, and two no contests. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA, Nick D. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 6 losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Santa Cruz, California, Luke Rockhold. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making it is palpable. On one side, you've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you up. Nice loop and punch. Diaz gets caught by the straight punch. Another punch to the head. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Real sneaky body kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land from anywhere. 27 total strikes have now landed for Luke Rockhold. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. And he landed the right hand there. Flipped him with the right hand there. And another hook landed there by Rockhold. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Dig and kick. Lands the right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, strong punch there by Rockhold. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh. Oh. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off of him by blocking all these attacks. Oh, he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the cleanest of the bunch. He turned his chin, made his chin touch his shoulder with that beautiful right. hook. He really got all of himself into that hook, pivoted off the right hand, big left hook lands. What a great punch. Big hard punch lands. Now he gets back in range. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that, and I'm going to tell you one. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, straight right. Oh, nice elbow. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. One minute now to go in round one. Beautiful punch. Oh, man, he put on the best poker face he could there, but he is just getting punished continuously by that hook. He is getting dominated with one singular strike. It's amazing to watch. Truly a great performance by this young fighter. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. And both guys really throwing with authority. Punches block. Rip the body there. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Battling for hooks. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Diaz's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. That was the kid. Nice strike. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Ready, fight. Ready. Good. 
second round underway. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Beautiful hand skills here, the right and the left. There's no give on that leg kick. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell Johnny's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side. So he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get in the corner where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Oh, nice knee to the body, just what he needed there. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. And he connects with the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, a huge block there. Well, if you're sick of us dropping that word hook, don't shoot the messenger because he throws and more often than not, he lands just like he did in the previous round, found a home for it again. Found a home for it again, and if I'm him, I'm continuing to go to the well. His opponent has not shown an ability to stop him. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he connects there. Oh, that right hand is on point. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. All right, single collar tie now. Ooh, what a punch. Big head kick. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Too. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish. Oh, he got him real good, too. Looks like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Rockhold. Nice knee to the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Oh, Rockhold's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Back and forth we go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Rush right hand is true combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Straight punch lands. Oh, Diaz's lower jaw is just nasty. Oh! What a round! All right, 
right, there's the horn. The round is over, and now is when the cut man earns his money. You see the cut right on the eyebrow there, sustained in the round, and that could become a factor moving forward in this fight. Cut man is in there now. We'll see if he can close it up. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Yes, they hurt him in the last round. Same exact one. Look at the turnover in that kick. Beautiful right hook counter. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Diaz gets caught with that punch. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Got clipped with the right hand. Looks like Rockhold's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Punches. Oh! He's hurt. Serves him up. Don't get him. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. These are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to, to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Diaz. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Big punch lands over the top. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Big knee to the body. Very tricky to just throw that body kick. He blocks the punch. Oh! He's got him here. Oh, he might be out. Big leg kick lands. Oh! Beautiful kick. 169 total strikes have now landed for Luke Rockwell. And connecting on just 35% of his attempts against Luke Rockwell. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got hurt here. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Gotta 
All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. Final seconds of round three. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. guy a ton to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face he's just being more aggressive and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes he's landing well just as he did in the previous round he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes Whoa! what a fantastic strike to throw oh! Now connects with the right. Oh, huge block! If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull the clinch. Nice shot by him there to get And this might just be a matter of time. Submission defense there. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got... Oh, it looks like he's transitioning on bar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. And attack an arm bar. He might get a finish here. And he's out. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, these are some serious punches from the top here. He's continuing to maintain good posture and making these strikes count. He's doing a really good job of watching pretty up and making his punches count while not putting himself in danger. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Diaz gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Sneaky head kick. Good punch, Lance. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into the corner stop. Beat his leg up. Oh! Every time these guys...
guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. And that is a serious cut. Blocks the shot. Connects with a right. Slips the punch. And they separate. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Single collar tie here. Big punch lands from the middle. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Back to the feet. Wow! Oh, he put him to sleep. Oh, no! Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Oh, big punch lands. Rockhold's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. After a massive knockout here tonight, near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans going to stop for this contest at 1 minute 26 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nick Diaz! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. <laughs>